there, it's Asia here, and here is our first project together, the basic outline of it anyhow. Um, this is typically how I do begin most of my projects, uh, with the exception of a sketch. I don't always sketch, mainly just because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> but this is for your benefit, to kind of give you a sense of what the project is all about. And what I do do, though, is I, I take the textiles that I intend on using in a project and I sort of place them together like this. And if there's any sort of uh, detail work like this applique here, I'll go ahead and make up a few appliques and actually place them on the fabric, kind of get a sense of how everything is working and if it's jibing well together. Then I say, OK, this project seems worthwhile. Let's make it. Let's do the bulk work, which is the actual construction of the garment pieces. So that is what we're going to be doing. Now, hopefully you can tell from my sketches, what we're attempting is a basic peplum blouse paired with a gathered skirt. Now these are both silhouettes that honestly I feel you could easily find commercially. So I felt it was a good first video for us to sort of start out with. Um, but in case you were not able to quite find these, I'm going to do some videos where at least you can find parts of these patterns that are available commercially and I'm going to teach you how to draft the other parts that you may not be able to find. So I feel like it's going to be easily accessible for you. Um, now let's go ahead and get into describing uh, the individual pieces. For the peplum blouse, this is actually what the applique is going to appear on. However, I have not actually drawn in the appliques uh, because I fear that my stellar artwork <laughs> would actually obscure the bones of the actual garment. And I want you to clearly see it before I go adding any of my divine artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and tag in a picture where I go ahead and fill in the actual applique and its placement. So it gives you a full picture of what it is we're trying to accomplish. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and explain as I go. And this peplum blouse is going to be, in my case, constructed of this really pretty green thatched cotton fabric. I love its texture and its color scheme. Now, it is, I will mention, a good idea that if you are doing applique work to usually do it on a solid fabric, a solid background, because you want the applique to really stand out and pop. It's going to be your emphasis. So it is a risk um, using a sort of a, a pattern like this with applique work, but it's different and I like different and I'm going to try it because it just goes so well with my entire color scheme. But I do want to mention that. So like a lovely, for this, this these fabrics, a lovely white wool would have been beautiful, but we're going to be different. And then for the applique, um, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to actually around here at the hem, I'm going to start the floral applique and have it come up, wind up around past the waistline over to the side under the bust. Then it's going to stop. It's not going to go in the back. It's going to reappear over the shoulder and a little bit onto the neckline. And it's going to sort of transcend across the bodice like that with this little vine that I've made. Uh, this will be stitched down and this is what the floral appliques will appear along. And I've made it from a love, I've, I've made it using cording and I've wrapped um, a really lovely apple green silk dupion around it and it does have a seam in the back here which will be stitched down on the underside and it'll wrap along like that and then alongside of that we're going to be placing the floral appliques and I have made these completely from scratch um, there will be a video obviously devoted to the applique um, components and I'll get really in depth and teach you all about how I did it but I'm just going to give a brief overview here. I've taken heavyweight muslin, um, layered it, um, hand dyed it, hand painted it um, and um, actually blended it with a bit of the actual skirt fabric that I'm going to be using as well and then in the center I've embellished it with, hopefully you can see a little bit of pizzazz there, some Swarovski crystals, some little seed beads. 
So that will be the actual flower part of applique. And then for the leaves, I've gone ahead and just taken some lovely forest green uh, wool felt and I've blanket stitched it to that same lovely apple green silk fabric. And then I've just taken some straight stitching for the veining to emphasize that. And I think that it goes really lovely with the actual background. I really like the play of colors here and the skirt fabric, which I'll get into. Um, you can see this bright green here and the dark green. I just feel it plays really well together. So that is the applique. And now we're gonna move on to the skirt. And I'll give you a little description here. It's just a basic gathered skirt. It's gonna be really easy to make. Um, the actual, hopefully you can see it here. There's the skirt overlay. There's going to be three components. You're going to have the waistband, you're going to have the overlay fabric, and then you're going to have the underskirt, which I've tried to highlight here. Now the overlay fabric, which is going to be the very pretty fabric, the, the, the focal point of the skirt, is for me made of this lovely um, mesh fabric, which this little swatch isn't doing it justice. So I've gone ahead, I'm going to bring over the actual full fabric and you can see the beautiful vibrant colors here, the wonderful texture and the sheer airy quality it has. And I really think that I, I chose this fabric to go with this fabric because this fabric sort of has a a garden-like quality to it and obviously the flower theme here. I just feel that for the blouse and the skirt they'll be beautiful together. Um, and the only thing I will mention in choosing your overlay fabric, if you're going after the same kind of look that I'm going after here, is that you're going to want to make sure that it's lightweight and that it has some sort of tran transparency or semi-sheerness. Um, so things like mesh, netting, voil, chiffon, anything in that vein is going to work beautifully and it's going to pair really well with your underskirt fabric and it will be important to choose an underskirt fabric uh, because the, if the top layer of fabric is going to be uh, slightly transparent. So for in my case I've gone ahead and chosen this really pretty sunshine yellow silk charmeuse and I would say the color and the feel are going to be the most important here in choosing your fabric because I'm the underskirt is also going to act as the lining for me. Um, you could choose to do an underskirt and then an additional lining, in which case the feel of the fabric wouldn't be as important for the underskirt because you'd have a lining beneath that. But as I'm constructing it, I want to make sure that not only is the color going to pair well, but that it's going to feel nice when I move in it and it's going to breathe. And also important, I think natural textiles are really great because you're going to have two fabrics moving against one another and you want to make sure that there's not going to be any sort of static buildup. So synthetics, watch out for that. They're notorious for that. So keep that in mind. And I've chosen a very light color here for my underskirt. I could have used white. Um, that would actually work probably perhaps the best maybe even, but there's a little bit of yellow in the blouse fabric and I just kind of wanted to pick up on that in the underskirt. Kind of ties them together a bit more. Um, but you want the one major thing, as I say, if you're going for that light and airy quality, um, then you just want to make sure that you don't really deepen your fabric too much if you want that sort of light airy feel because if I had chosen even like a blue even though a blue underlay would have gone beautifully with the skirt once I put this over a blue underlay it will immediately darken everything so it's just not the effect I'm going for so keep that in mind the color and feel of your underskirt will be important so this is, I think, all I really kind of want to mention. 
uh, about the initiation of the project and things to keep in mind and choosing your fabrics and sort of the silhouettes that we're going to be going for. So I hope you have fun designing your own project and I hope to see you stitching soon. Bye-bye.